Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to another project for Trinity Stamps. Today I'm going to be creating a fun little scene card using the Have a Nice Day stamp set. This is a 3x4 stamp set. It has this adorable little polar bear ice skating and some other elements such as a candy cane, a present, and a cup of coffee, and a few sentiments. And I just love this little guy. So we're going to start by coloring him up and I wanted to use some warm gray. So I'm using a four color blend here, going all the way from my darkest color, the W5, to the W3, W1, and the W00 as my lightest. I'm going in with my darkest marker here and just laying down the darkest shadows, which would be under his scarf and where his clothes are touching his body. I added some shadows to where his legs touched and then near the tops of his skates as well. So once I had that darkest marker in, I went ahead and blended that out with the W3 and then worked my way down. I did leave some white space in the center just so that he does look like a white polar bear and not a brown polar bear. And once these markers dry, the colors will come back and he will look a little bit whiter. I did use some R30 here for inside his ears and on his cheeks and then went ahead and used my blender marker to just pull back some of that color as well as on his body. Now for his nose and his skates, I'm using my C markers. So my darkest here is the C7, my darkest midtone the C5, my lightest midtone the C3, and then the C1, which I'm using very sparingly here. Did go out of the lines a little bit, so just using my blender marker to fix that, and then decided that I wanted his skates to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go over this another time, and this time I'm going to actually leave out the C1. For the blades of the skates, I wanted them to look silver, so I'm just going to use the C3 and the C1 marker for that, and that will differentiate between his black skate boots and the blades of the skates. Now for the mittens and the scarf, I'm going to bring in one of my favorite sort of newer color combinations in this kind of tealy color. And I'm going to choose those colors because they match really well with the distress inks that I'm going to be using to create the little pond that he is skating on. So the colors that I'm using is BG78, BG75, BG72, and then I'm going to use the BG11 as my lightest. You can see there that I did add some white highlights to his scarf where there's the little rectangles um, down towards the bottom of each of the ends of his scarf, and I also left the top of his boots white as well. So nothing too fancy here, just going through again darkest to lightest. I am going to add some detail to the scarf just to kick it up a notch. And I'll do that with my white gel pen here in a second. Now because the BG11 is quite a uh, ways away from the BG72, I am using the tip to tip technique here, just touching the BG11 marker to the BG72 to blend that out. And then I found that some of that color really pushed back. So I'm going to come in with that darkest marker again, lay in those shadows, and then blend that out a little bit more. Now that we have our polar bear colored, I'm going to add some detail. So I'm using a black glaze pen for his nose. Then I'm bringing in a white gel pen to add some polka dots to his scarf. You can see me rubbing my gel pen to my finger. The oils and the heat of your skin will help to reactivate your gel pens if you're having trouble with them. So it just helps with the ink to flow. So if you're having trouble with that, go ahead and try that little tip. Once I get all these dots onto the scarf, I am going to add a few highlights to our polar bear, mostly on his skates and then a highlight line on his back and the top of his head. Then we can go ahead and use the coordinating die and run that through the die cut machine. 
and we have our little polar bear here with our nice white border. And I love how it cuts out the little skating lines as well. So I'm bringing in the Lawn Fawn Stitched Pond die. So this makes it really easy to create a skating scene. And I stamped out the sentiment, have an ice day. And I'm going to do some heat embossing with that. So I stamped that out with my black ink and just use some clear embossing powder. I'll heat that up and I'll let that dry a little bit and then I'm going to bring in my Distressed Oxides in Evergreen Bow, Peacock Feathers, and Tumbled Glass. The Evergreen Bow has a green hint to it and so that's going to play really well with the colors that I use to color our little polar bears, scarf, and mittens. So I am doing the evergreen bow along the edges and then bringing that peacock feathers in to blend that out and then I wanted the tumbled glass to be in the center. Originally I thought that I was going to leave quite a bit of this white but in the end you'll see that I end up covering the entire skating pond here with the Distress Oxides and I go a little bit heavier than I had expected but I really like the look it gives in the end. I'm just going to clean up my desk here. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I can go ahead and use a dry microfiber cloth to rub the ink off of my embossed sentiment. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut or emboss almost this little skating heart that comes with the Lawn Fawn Skating Pond. And I love the effect this gives. It really makes it look like the polar bear is skating on the ice. I did go ahead and cut out a piece of acetate for the top of the skating pond. I thought that this would give it a nice shiny look and just make it look a little bit more like ice. I went ahead and popped up my polar bear on some fun foam, adhered that to the piece of acetate and then I can go ahead and add some liquid glue underneath the acetate where the polar bear will hide that e adhesive. I'm going to use a stamp block just to let that dry for a bit and then I went ahead and cut out some white glitter cardstock with a stitched rectangle die and that's going to be my background. I wanted it to kind of represent snow around the pond. So I'll go ahead and adhere that to my card base. This is an A2 size card at four and a quarter by five and a half. I did need to trim up my card base just a little bit here and then I can go ahead and adhere my little focal point here of the ice skating pond and our polar bear on to the card. So this is a really quick clean and simple card. There are sentiments for the holidays but I thought I would go ahead and create a winter scene card today which is quite fitting because we just had a lovely snowstorm the other day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Here's a couple more videos to watch. This is my last design team project for Trinity Stamps. My term is over. I've had a great time being on the team and showcasing their products. So thanks everybody for watching. Have a fantastic day and I will see you really soon in the next video. Bye.